Okay, today we're going to do kind of a fun project with tying flies. And in this case, we're going to tie a cool pin that you can do. And this is nice because you can make it any way you want uh, because you're really not going to be fishing with it. So you can make it as fancy or crazy as you want to make it. So we're going to need our kit. So you should have your, this is your vise, your scissors, your half hitch tool, and your thread. And uh, the materials we're going to use are pretty straightforward. We're going to have a safety pin, uh, any color of yarn you want. And if your folks knit it all, or uh, you, can, you can use any kind of yarn. And then some tinsel. And this tinsel is just Christmas, you know, Christmas tree tinsel that you put on. Other than that, it's pretty simple. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do this a little differently than we did the flies. I'm going to take our vise out, and I'm going to loosen it, and then I'm going to take our safety pin. Now remember, this safety pin is really sharp here, so if that if you're worried about that, uh, just put a little piece of tape on it while we're working, and then that way you're less likely to st stick yourself. Now this one we're going to tie a little bit differently. Put put it right through the two spots there. Hold it up there and then turn the base. That's how it tightens down. Now normally we put it normally we put it in the angle hole. Angle hole here. But what I'm gonna have you do this time is just put it into one of these holes up here. Okay. And then we're gonna take out our our uh, scissor, get that ready and take out our other tool, our thread, and uh, we're ready to get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to start a thread wrap on here. And remember how we did that. You just lay it on top, you hold the tag in, and you turn this. So go up about all the way up to the head if you can. And then back, cross over. Remember we're still holding on to the end here. And what will happen is you'll find is that as you cover the whole needle it's going to tighten it on there see so that's not going to move any place so then we'll take our scissor and we'll trim that tag end off okay and I'm going to go a little bit farther as far as you can right up to the right up to the uh, vise right there Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn, you know, cut yourself off a good chunk of yarn, and now we're going to place the yarn back along the back here and lay it on top of our shank of the safety pin, and we're going to lap, wrap, wrap gently at first, and eventually it'll hold on there, and you're going to tie this on. And this doesn't have to be very neat at all. You just got to get it so the end of this is right against where the vise is. All right. Then we'll spin our thread back to the head. And again, this doesn't have to be pretty because it's all going to be gone. Okay. So now it's right up here. So now we have our yarn. And in fact, you may want to even pull this away. This down a bit. You may want to pull your your thread away a little bit so you have some space. This gets a little messy here, but we'll, we'll, we'll get it. And now we're going to wrap this thread around the shank of our safety pin until it comes all the way to the front. You might get a little tangled up here with your, all your other stuff, but it'll work. So see how I'm, I'm trying to keep it tight, but you see how it's all the way to the end there? So now I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to lift it right over the top and then bring it around and lift it over again. And after two turns, see this isn't going to unravel anymore, so I can... Trim this off. 
that's gone. And then I'm going to take my thread and wrap it two or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe ten times. Because we want that on there really, really well. We're almost done. The next step is to grab a bunch of this tinsel and try to keep it all about the same length if you can. This may take some some doing to get things. Find the short ones, they should get them all to about the same length if you can. They, they don't have to be perfect, but if one's sticking way out, just pull it out and pull it out and just bring them up to about the same length. So now we have a big clump of these. See, and they're all... So find the middle. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Find the middle. And right there where your thread is, put your fingers. And now we're going to gently go around. One, two, three. So we got it down pretty gently. And now we're going to do a couple, three mores around there so it's on there tight. Then we're going to take these that are pointing towards the front. And bring it back like a big wing over the top. And then we're going to wrap, wrap, wrap. See how it's wrapping? And then we're going to wrap, 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 wrap. Cover that whole front end, that whole mess at the beginning with black thread. So you're see how that'll look like a little head. And then once we have it wrapped up like that, then you take your half hitch tool. Remember the half hitch tool? And all you have to do for the half hitch tool is put it against the thread, bring it around the pointy side, then bring this and cover up the whole head as much as you can and slide it over. Flip it over slide it over, push down, wrap it towards the pointy side, bring it over, slide it over. Do that three or four times, maybe five or six times, pull it nice and tight. If you really want to, you could take some glue and dab it right there if you want to make it extra hard. If you don't, you don't have to. And we're all done. So now I'm going to pull my vise out, pull this out. I'm going to turn this so this comes out. I can put this anywhere I want at this point. And pretty much I have my fly done. Now I can push this back in. There. If you have a few stragglers that are bothering you, you know, you can cut those out, but I may put another one on. I may wear two of them now. I'm going to put one. I'm going to put one right here, too. So now I have two of them. If I can grab this. There we go. Snap my safety pin on. There, and now I have two flies. One with a red body and one with a black body. Easy peasy. You can stop this anytime you want. See you guys.